Look, your mum and I, we've had our ups and downs, always. She's been concentrating on a lot of her work and I've been concentrating on a mine and, you know, we've drifted apart and when we are together, we seem to fight. Look, I'm not gonna hide it from you. Well, no, the signs of hostility and clear defensive facade is, is open. You're not, you're not communicating. I haven't even seen you look at her. Not once. I do look when she's not looking. Because over time, people change. You know, our life experiences, our priorities change. Our children grow up and that has an impact on how we feel about everything. Um, our jobs change, our priorities at work change. What we like changes because we grow as people. And can your mother and I fix things? Honestly, I have no idea. I really don't. Maybe there isn't a plan in place. And maybe there is, and I don't want to discuss it with you at this moment in time. <laughs> Late. Lateness and laziness. How long have you worked for me? Long enough to know it's not an excuse. I'm sorry. Are you? I certainly hope so. Otherwise I could be provoked to shoot you in the head. I've been known to do that from time to time. I have the information on the terrorist task force. They're planning to dismantle the cell of the covert operation. And what kind of agents are they planning to use? Close quarters combat unit or GSG? It's too early to say. Either way, they're after the wrong enemy. The insurgent forces will outweigh the tactical strategies of the militia within weeks. The revolutionary movement should exceed the occupation's expectations. It already has, Commander. It's a pity you won't be able to live to see its victory. But I gave you all the information I have. But not enough. Had you given me the information I needed, maybe you would have lived. Maybe. Ow! Where were you? Where was I what? We've just had lunch. Ray and I came down earlier to make lunch. Where have you been? Hey, reading a book. Well, why did you not join the rest of the family for lunch? Because I didn't want to. What's wrong with you? What do you mean, what's wrong with me? What's wrong with you? Look, why are you having a go at me? Because why what you take a leave out Taniska's book and saw your marriage out? Yeah, and what are you doing? What am I doing? I don't even want to get involved in it. You're coming here having a go at me for no reason. Yeah, because you're becoming right like your mother. No, I don't want your beige. I don't want to be on this trip. I'm here on this trip because you forced me to be here. If I want to sit on my own and read a book, I don't see why that's such a big deal. And you're telling me that I should, uh, you know, look at my sacred union. Where's the peace that you found in reading this book? I definitely book? think you should look at your sacred union called your marriage. All right, I will. Do you know what annoys me as well? You think you have me all figured out as like, oh, I'm this party girl that goes out and has no responsibilities. And David is this great son who has his whole life sorted out. But if you actually got to know me well enough, you'd know that I've been focusing on my own life plan. It has nothing to do with you. You know nothing about me. All right, then, so tell me. No, what I don't is want it about? to. No, because I don't, shouldn't have to yell at you to get any emotion out of you. It's pissing me off. I'm sorry, OK? Things with your mother are hard, difficult. And I just, I don't want you... Becoming her. What's so bad about being her? When she gets drunk and when she has a drink, she can be vicious. And, and I don't want you feeling that having a drink is the only way that you can get through life. Dad, the way to get through to me is not to bitch about my mum. OK. Look, but I know she's not perfect. I'm not saying anyone is. But maybe you come on too hard to her. Maybe she's allowed to have a drink and have some fun. I love you all. And I don't want you to ruin your life by becoming your mother and thinking that the parting and everything else is the be all and end all. And that's how you're gonna make friends and that's how you're gonna, you know, be a success. Mm. Okay? Okay. You are a fantastic girl. You could be anything you wanted to be. Okay, okay, okay. I get yeah. it. What's um David and people doing? David's got some friends from the army that he's going to go out with tonight. Right. I was hoping that I might be able to persuade you to stay in. Well, what would persuade me is maybe a bit of cash or allowance that I could spend when we're not on this holiday. 50 quid. Yes. And a bottle of wine. Yeah. Red or white. 
little Tommy Harrison's mother came by today. I I don't know who you're talking about. So you wouldn't happen to know how little Tommy lost his skateboard to that weird dude that wears the high heel sneakers? Perhaps the gentleman in question was improving blood circulation or reducing knee joint stress. Sounds like a smart guy. Maybe you should leave him alone before he bests you in a battle of wits. Why would you steal a little kid's skateboard? What's wrong with you? First of all, I didn't steal it. I won it in a bet. And secondly, who knew the kid could dunk a basketball? He's the size of a Snickers bar, and a fun size Snickers bar at that. I, I really don't care. I, I really don't. This is unacceptable. This is between me and Tommy. I should have never let you eat in that expired yogurt. You said the expiration date was a typo and I believed you. I lied. I believed you!